Hey everyone, Tony here, and today I had a little bit of extra free time, so I figured we would check out something. I honestly wasn't sure at first, and then I realized that they just dropped the Arsenal update for RoboQuest, and honestly, there's like a ton of other stuff in the game that I haven't really had a chance to check out uh, or talk about, especially on YouTube. I've played the game pretty much like every major update, but I, I tend to play this game pretty casually. That's honestly one of the benefits of RoboQuest is that I think it works really well as sort of a casual uh, roguelike shooter. Uh, it's one of the reasons I really enjoy it. It just has really, really fucking good uh, gunplay. The core gameplay loop is just fantastic. The build crafting uh, during the course of a run is fantastic. So, I figured today was a good day to jump back in. We might uh, check out some of the new weapons. I believe there are nine new weapons. They've also made, like, some quality of life changes. Uh, there is a new sort of type in the game called Summoning that allows you to affect uh, minion-type builds, which I think is really cool. I think there's a couple new characters as well. They added, like, a training range. I haven't honestly looked too much at the new weapons because I just want to be surprised. And there are actually weapons that have been added, I think, since or during the course of 1.0's release that I still haven't played with because, like I said, I, I maybe jump in and do like four or five runs uh, every now and then with the game and then I will, uh, you know, come back to it. I might actually go ahead and... I'm trying to remember if I was saving up here. I mean, I guess I need to acquire these anyway, so I might as well just go ahead and drop eight cells on that for now. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can do while we're here. I think uh, outside of maybe selecting our class for the run, we're good to go. I have definitely been enjoying the Commando. I do like the Stealth on the Ranger. It is a lot of fun. And we also have Javelins, which is, you know, I mean, come on. Who doesn't like throwing a fucking Javelin at a bunch of baddie robots? <laughs> but I think we'll go ahead and stick Commando because I'm just uh, too obsessed with the Shorty. It is, as you can tell probably from my unlocks here, my favorite class in the game so far. Uh, we'll stick with Standard Difficulty and let's go ahead and start. So yeah, if you are not familiar with RoboQuest, it is a uh, roguelike FPS with a little bit of a narrative, some great artwork, great music. More importantly, though, it has absolutely stellar gameplay and gunplay. Uh, it has been really doing a great job with its gameplay since the early days, and it's only improved. The animation work for pretty much all of the weapons in the games is stellar. Uh, and if we happen to come across the new Desert Eagle... I don't think it's new. It's newish. Uh, I will be very excited because it's one of my favorite Desert, Desert Eagle style handguns uh, in a game ever. It's just so good. Uh, so if that sounds like something you might like, you'd probably like RoboQuest. Uh, I think it's on sale for like 20 bucks right now. Uh, still has quite an extensive roadmap ahead of it. We're going to go ahead and go with this chainsaw because, I mean, come on, who doesn't like a ridiculous double chainsaw? Um, honestly, I'm not big on <laughs> melee builds, but... We will do some silly chainsaw things anyway. The sidearm is pretty good regardless, and we will very quickly be able to replace this thing, so the first uh, set of weapon drops comes up pretty fast. As you can take a look at the purple section of the map there, that'll lead us to another area. We'll have a little sort of jumping puzzle thing to a chest that'll give us some goodies to choose from, so we'll make that push. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I praised this game quite a bit uh, back in the first video I made for it, I think, right around the time it hit early access. I'm trying to remember if I've done another video since then. I might have sat down to do one, but just maybe never actually, like, put it to YouTube. Um, so let's hope that this one makes it to YouTube. As long as I can finish recording this and then maybe edit it real quick before my daughter wakes up from her nap, we will be good to go. Unfortunately, nothing too interesting. We could go scout sniper. I probably will. Although, I guess we could kind of just stay in close range with the shotgun. Let's go that route. We'd have, we've already got nine power cells, so I'm not too worried about, like, purchasing power later on. Otherwise, we could have just grabbed one of those and held on to the pistol for now, but I think we'll be okay. It's still early in the run. We got time here. Like I said, I don't want to call this game casual, because I think a lot of people misinterpret that terminology when we talk about video games, because it's been just abused and reused in all the wrong ways. Um, but what I mean when I say that this game has sort of a casual feel to it is that it is, as far as, like, mental commitment, it is not a very taxing game to just jump into and do a couple quick runs on. And I think more importantly, for me at least, it's not the kind of game where I feel stressed about having to quit out of a run. 
uh, because life happens. <laughs> So let's take a look at our perk options here. We can do shorty prototype. We get an improved version of the shorty. I mean, I love that thing. That doesn't sound like a bad deal to me. We've also got top quality though, which on the first 33% of our ammo increases weapon. That seems kind of huge, uh, but we could also go chromatic power and that will give us an element that increases the damage of that element for each fury point. Rocket and shorty deal damage of that element. So I have, I think kind of always struggled with the elemental type builds. Probably because I don't fully commit to them. So that's on me. Uh, let's go ahead and go cryo. And we'll give that a shot. Uh, oh, it deals cryo damage. How convenient is that? <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chainsaw. You've, you've been a good friend. Um, we could go ahead and upgrade these things. I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I think we're capped out right now for like the area or so we're not going to be able to do that. That's fine. Uh, I don't have the stuff we need. We're going to go ahead and continue pushing ruins for now. Um... Grenades are kind of interesting. And what I mean by that is I'm terrible with them. But I've had a few instances where I've done well with them. It's just like, it requires such a different play style. And, uh, you know, the great thing about that is it's a little segue for the fact that this game does have quite a few, by few, I'd say a lot more than a few, um, sort of builds and play styles you can really pull yourself into. And that is a big part of why I find it... Like, so just fun to just play without ever really being super concerned about seeing, like, the end game or beating all of the bosses. Like, if you want to do that, that there, there's plenty of video game for that, you know? Like, they're, and they're pushing forward with the continuation of their, like, post 1.0 roadmap. There's plenty of cool stuff to dig through here. But I just love the core gameplay loop and the fact that you can genuinely get, like, a fun and you know interesting and potentially successful build up and running in like 10 minutes into the run you usually have already started building on something and it's pretty hard to really i really like this stupid tommy gun but we're gonna stick with this it's just not worth deranking like that hey so i'm gonna cut myself off here just real quick because i wanted to showcase just a little bit of footage of the locations that you can see like Haven, uh, which take place after chapter two. So unfortunately, uh, I didn't keep this run going. It would have went for like another 40 minutes because <laughs> it actually ended up being one of the best runs I ever had. You guys only uh, saw me finish up that sort of first section there. I got past uh, another boss and into Haven, which is honestly a location I've only got to see some screenshots of, but it is a testament to just how much the team has improved their, their level design. Uh, making levels that are a little bit more complex, a little bit more interesting, but also just much more beautiful. The early game really doesn't do justice to uh, how the team has started to expand sort of the art of the game, the location art. And it's maybe one of the only areas of the game that I thought was, you know, in need of like a level up. So it's great to finally get to that point. Uh, I have a really good run and get to see. I mean, look at this location. It's it's beautiful it's it's it feels so much more real and alive uh compared to some of the earlier stages i haven't looked at the roadmap recently but i do genuinely hope that this is sort of uh an example of you know what we can maybe expect in some of the other areas of the game if they go back and decide to rework them and improve them and make them just you know more visually interesting uh, and potentially gameplay wise interesting locations as well because this this was really cool Throw in the mix of like the, you know, the new enemy types that are introduced in this area getting thrown at me. And I was genuinely taken back by how great uh, this was. It, it, it was a joy, but let, uh, let past me get back to it. Uh, I absolutely distracted myself. What I was going to say was it's really hard to sort of get soft locked, right? If you will, with your build to like genuinely make such a poor build. You can, don't get me wrong. I've done it. Uh, especially I think if you try to like reach out into too many different build types to like almost make a multi build where you're trying to like specialize in too many different things and you don't have enough cohesion between your abilities and the perks you've taken and the upgrades you've taken, you can definitely make yourself kind of like poo poo. You're not a very strong robot. Um, but it's hard to do that. You have to go out of your way. And I think the way in which the game sort of explains 
It delivers the descriptions of its perks and its upgrades and its equipment, makes it very easy to understand what goes together. And it's not at the cost of like simplifying the game either. You know, it uses a nice little type system or trait system, and it's just very readable to see, okay, hey, well, this does frost. This is going to boost elemental damage. We know that we do elemental damage. You know, it, right here is a great example of that. And you can also see that we have cryo power in the top powder in the top left corner. It understands. That, that is important it's highlighting it for us uh and it also explains to us elemental means it's related to burn shock or cryo the devs have done like such an outstanding job throughout the game's development and making sure that it is such a readable experience for people who maybe don't play these kinds of games uh because it can be difficult uh for someone who's never really played a rogue like this like this a risk of rain like experience perhaps uh, who doesn't understand like you know the build crafting that happens in these sorts of games anywho Elemental damage instantly executes enemies with less than 8% health remaining. Uh, we're going to go with that, and maybe we will just consider throwing grenades in that sort of a way. While you were a sandal, while you were on the ground, increase. Okay, that's, uh, that's a pretty good one. I'm going to check and see what weapons we got here before we do anything else. Torpedo rifle, the stool. <laughs> I haven't seen some of these. While crouched, increases weapon accuracy by 50% and their damage by 15. I don't really necessarily want to go around crouching. Um, I might kind of just push on with what I have. I mean, the torpedo rifle is pretty sick. We could kind of just go like explosive, pure explosive, right? Let's, I guess let's do that. Uh, get some more health back. This feller, listen, I don't know how legit this man is. He's got a lot of stubs hanging out of his suitcase there. I don't know what he's doing with his money. Maybe he's invested in stocks or in uh, Gabagool. Uh, you know, I don't really know, but uh, I've been entrusting him with one of my power cells every run. And I hope that someday it'll come around and he'll let me know that he has invested all of my money into a brand new shampoo company that has taken the world by storm. I honestly don't know what he does. I don't want to know. Uh, that's the beautiful ignorance that I play this game with. One day I will figure it out and that might be a year from now. And I will be like, that's really cool. But that's how I play RoboQuest. <laughs> that's my casual approach to this game. Uh... Listen, when your child can wake up from their nap at any given time, because they're almost two years old, you just accept things as the way they are sometimes. This this game is very much dad approved. Um, we're going to stick with the torpedo rifle. Flamethrowers, I mean, come on, it's a flamethrower. It's cool, but... Ooh, okay, first arena. I think when I was trying to explain to sort of the, the type of game this is, for those of you who aren't familiar, I mean, each of these little areas is kind of like a almost a Doom style arena. You know, if you liked like Doom 2016 uh, gameplay, I mean, even parts of Doom Eternal minus like all the crazy weapon combo stuff, although, you know, there there is a sort of combo system to this, but it's much more player driven. And uh, perhaps a little bit more freeform considering you get to really make your build from, you know, scratch. Selecting the few weapons and abilities you have based on your class and what you loot. Which reminds me, we should be making way more use of our rockets and our shorty here. Because our shorty freezes! Yeah, that's that's a good thing. We should do that. Your abilities are just really important to the gameplay loop. Like, you want to use your abilities. They it, they do good damage. There's no reason not to. That's just the plain simple fact of it. Uh, and especially, you know, if you continue to spec your game into that. Uh, <laughs> the elephant gun is very silly, but we're going to keep... Torpedo for now. I'm hoping to see one of the new weapons. I don't think we've stumbled across any of them just yet. Honestly, not the end of the world, though, because I really haven't got to spend too much time with most of these. We really want to take that guy out. He's trying to flashbang us with a 1920s filter. Black and white TV filter flashbang. Honestly... You know what is the most annoying effect in any modern FPS, military FPS, like Call of Duty, is the flashbang effect, man. It's just terrible. It's horrendous. They should really replace it with the one that RoboQuest has. That would solve all my problems. Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. We're getting lots of... Oh, hello. We've got a shield booster somewhere. I really don't want to lose that guy. There he is. We just, like, throw a bunch of these things. Just get him out there. Just get him out in the field. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. That's kind of the way to do it, right? I mean, they, they are frag grenades after all. 
<laughs> Probably best to use them from some sort of concealment. If possible. Dun, 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 dun. You know, if anybody from Rise Up happens to see this video, I just gotta say, man. Great, great fucking job. Y'all have really killed it with this game. Uh... There's just a lot of those situations, I think, where, you know, you play a game in early access and you're like, hey, this is a really good start. I wonder where it'll go. And especially with something like a roguelike, which can just, I imagine, has to be so hard to develop uh, as you expand the game content-wise and mechanically. Like, that's just so many systems that are so dependent on one another. Uh, and I imagine it's very easy to start to break them. Oh, we should probably get our perk here, guys. Uh, every four shots, increase weapon damage. Your next reloader's instant throws an explosive grenade. Reduces my weapon slots, though. I don't want to do the single weapon slot thing. I don't like it. We're going to do weapon and shorty damage, and we're going to try and play into close quarters. Increases shorty damage. We could buff that. Yo. 80%. We could also go survivability, but honestly, I'm hoping this run doesn't last too long. Whoa. Let's go! I have not got to use this thing yet. Okay, I'm not going to shoot it yet because I want to wait for bad guys. Let's continue forward. And uh, as I was saying, I know that they've changed a lot of the game's systems throughout the development. There's been huge reworks to perks and traits and the way weapons drop and roll and just the overall progression of the game. And uh, every time they've done a huge update, they've just kind of nailed it, you know? And uh, I mean, you can't ask for much more than that. They did a great job with it. I don't think we have any alt fires to be heard of on these builds currently. And neither of these weapons have alt fires. I just realized we're dealing cryo damage with our missile battery. This is going to be sick. I'm very excited for this. We'll probably just go... I think I might get rid of the grenade now. You've, you've done as well. Look at the little grenade face. You've been through a lot, my friend. Let us retire you. We're gonna go Sheriff's Carbine. That's also got some cryo. Uh, I don't think we can... Can we upgrade this? Okay. And then that should be four, so that's good. Uh, let's grab our healing. We're doing pretty good on this run. This is where I'm probably gonna die, I'm gonna be honest. I've made it here a few times, and I have yet to have a really like strong run, but I'm feeling strong about this. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Come on, dude. <laughs> it's so good. More games should have handheld missile batteries. I mean, come on. I love it. I love it. I love it. Rise up, you guys. <laughs> game's just so fucking cool. That reminds me, I really need to drag my buddy Alex into playing co-op this game with me. I have never played this game in co-op. I praise this game constantly. My buddy Alex loves this game. He also praises it constantly. And we have never done a co-op run. I need to change that. I need to, I need to make that happen first this is this is sick this thing is awesome i really like this this feels like this is going to be the weapon to get us through here so we have to deal with uh, a gang of elites at the end of this which are a bunch of like high level robots with cool gadget and tech and attacks and they're just kind of hard uh it's a small arena and it takes a lot to stay focused and to not just be eaten alive by their abilities I think this might let us do that, though, especially with the cryo on it. Like, that's going to be huge. Honestly, I might try and switch out. I'm trying to preserve my health here. I got to be a little bit more cautious because this place is filled with little bouncing Betty bots. <clears throat> I might try to do get something else AOE to go with it. Or, I guess, I just want something that's a little bit more, a little bit less precision, I, I think is what I'm trying to say here. I'm trying to wrap my head around it, and I think we might have just got it, dual sawed-offs. Because we're going to be forced into close quarters anyway, so I'm not necessarily concerned about having, like, long-range precision. This thing already has pretty good range, this uh, missile battery, so... We can double these down with our... Trying not to do just what I did there. Should be okay. As long as we don't lose too much health, we'll get a lot of it back during that last uh, phase. Yeah, essentially we're going to deal with a bunch of these guys that are even stronger at the end. So that's my main concern is being prepared to kind of just control them if I can. 
Like, the damage is definitely there for us on this run. And I will be happy if we just can clear that level. I will literally call it there. <laughs> I think we've, uh, we've done what I wanted to do, which is just to remind people who watch my happy little YouTube videos uh, about a game that I really love and that I think is genuinely awesome. Just the perfect little, like, sit down, do a few runs game. You don't necessarily feel like you gotta solve all of its secrets, although there are plenty of those to find and dig through if you'd like. You know, there's plenty of bosses, like I said before, if you want to dig through and try and get them all. We are really losing our rhythm here, so I'm trying to talk about the game. But hey, if you if you just want to ha play a game that's like fun, that lets you build cool builds and play with a ton of different ridiculous weapons across many classes. I don't even have all the classes in 1.0 currently, in 1.0 plus currently unlocked yet. Uh, this is the game, dude. It's It's just good, man. It really is. Okay, this is it. Increase all damage by 20% against enemies affected by cryo. The build is coming into its own. I'm, I was almost tempted to take the magazine one because the idea of like more sustained fire with this would be cool. But I think this is the way to go. Get our Electro Pawn card. I don't actually... I don't think I've really understood what those do just yet. I know that they were introduced a little while back when I was playing this game, but never really figured out what they were all about. Oh, okay, that's the Bandito. I thought for a second it was the... Um, the 50. I was just going to pick it up to shoot it so you all could see the animation work on it because it's still one of my favorites. It is literally, in my opinion, one of the best Desert Eagle like animations ever. Not to mention it's also like their own custom take on the Desert Eagle model-wise, so I love that. Hey, look at this thing, dude. This is some depth from above. I love it. Honestly, Destiny 2 has a lot of really cool weapons, a lot of really cool exotics. Still enjoy the gameplay in that game a lot, but they don't have an exotic missile silo launcher, and you know what? That's a problem. I think they need to write that wrong, because this thing is way too fun. Let's watch. Look at the reload, too. Oh, God. Love it, man. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Let's see what kind of healing we get here. That's pretty good. Sonic crossbow. The sling? We're good. I think we just, we want to stick. I know these don't have cryo, but we're going to be able to do damage to cryo. So unless one of these was also cryo and maybe we further stack that, uh, I'm not really that interested. Let's just, uh, let's make this happen. Let's see if we can't, can't do this. Would love to very quickly Dispatch one of these guys. If we can immediately thin the field, that's great, because it's going to keep spawning them. That's what makes this so hard. Some of them have shields, like this fella. Let's see if we can't just get a nice little uh, focus fire here. Let's go. Get that missile off. That's nice. I like that. Big booms. I want to try and keep some elevation so we can stay away from those ground pound attacks. Let's see if we can't get some multi damage going on here. I'm trying to also make sure I'm getting health while I can. They're just so sneaky. I gotta remember too my slide is like really good for just picking up speed. Okay, one last guy. It's Mr. Shield Man is still... He could genuinely still kill us, so... Slightly concerned, but he's frozen. This is this is a really fun build. <laughs> I'm so happy with this. Okay, that's the first time I've done this. Yay! Let's get our purple power crystal. Claim one power crystal. I almost called it a power pistol. That's not a real thing. <laughs> our time was not great. Um... Another fun thing about this game is being able to really blast the uh, the times and the scores if you want. It's, it's a good system. It doesn't feel like you have to be a crazy speedrunner to do well on it. But it is rewarding. Junk Beam, Mammoth Minigun. These are all so good. Increased shock damage. All right, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and call this run there because I need to get this video edited before the kiddo gets up so you can all actually see it. RoboQuest, uh, I, like I said, just got this free update. 
all of the like updates they've been doing since the game launched in early access have been free. This is the Arsenal update. They've got an entire roadmap that they're still going through as well. If you just want a tight, you know, extremely uh, fun to play again and again and again and again, uh, FPS roguelike, some great arena shooter style combat. I cannot recommend the game enough. It's also like 20% off right now, so you can pick it up for 20 bucks over on Steam. I'll have some links down in the description below. Shout out to the folks at Rise Up for continuing to crush it with this wonderful project. I am very excited to have this game around and uh, you know, still just improving, expanding, and becoming increasingly more fun to play every single time I play it. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves out there, and I'll see you in the next one.